Hey, Mr. Ryan. Well, I decided to wait a little bit after I got this fan out. And, uh, it's 100 PFM. And uh, I took the heater out. It had heater and lights. I took that out. <clears throat> and I was, just wanted to make sure that it worked. I don't even know if you can hear that. But that's uh, got a piece of paper in there. That's a fair amount of air. <clears throat> Pretty sure that that'll do the job. Well, what I decided is what I'm going to do is this is the exhaust, so I'm going to put this on the ceiling, point it towards right there, and I'm going to put this through the wall. Six inch. This will stick in five to six inches. <clears throat> this will make here, and then here's the flex I was planning on using. I'll probably still use it at least initially, <clears throat> and then uh, here's my five foot piece that I had just laying around. <clears throat> what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to come off from here and come to the center of my garage and then I have an elbow over there I'll sit on here and then I'll bring the flex down in the middle there's nothing in the way here and that will give me the most ability to move around in this space where I do most of my welding when I'm in here, when I'm not outside. The only thing I have to do is I have to <clears throat> I have to cut a hole in this and then I have to close the bottom off. The way I'm going to close the bottom off is I'm going to weld a piece of this sheet onto here that'll close it off. And uh, I haven't quite decided how exactly where I either can come off here or here. This might be uh, this is definitely be easier to do because I can do it. Just take the plasma cutter and cut a six inch hole there. The only thing is I need a I'll need a um, a flange so that the pipe can go onto the flange. Oh. Depending on what kind of flange I get, I'll either weld it or screw it in and then tape it. I got the tape. Um, <clears throat> that's about it. Now, before I quit for the night, I wanted to uh, see if I could get a reading on how much amps I'm getting. My clamp meter is not really the most accurate, but it would give me a ballpark if I could get on the right wire, which I think I can. Well, here's the hot and neutral. Get on the hot. It's about half an amp. A good test. Get the neutral. It should be exactly the same, and it is 0.53. So that's about 60 watts. It's hardly any power at all, really. I've taped I've taped this off with uh, 
metal tape all the way around any holes so it would be efficient. Really is quiet. I didn't even know, like I said, if you can hear that, but it barely makes any noise. Well, that's all for now. Catch you later.